vanilla. Yeah, definitely vanilla, yeah. But thanks, James. Uh, he's, uh, he's getting really good, this one. Hello. Welcome back to another video. Yes, after popular demand of the uh, wine tasting series, Charlotte has uh, decided she tried a wine at her mum and dad's a few weeks ago and she said it was lovely. So today we decided to, we went to buy a few of these bottles of wine. She, just, she said to me, should I do a wine tasting about it? As she, she hasn't done a wine tasting of this before, she just tasted it, not actually done a whole. So these, what she's going to say now in this, in this video, are going to be very authentic, very new to her. And um, hopefully you like it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone. I hope you're staying safe and well during these um, COVID times. Um, I forgot all about these wine tasting um, YouTube things. And um, I haven't come across a wine very often that's just blown me away. But I went to my parents last week and... Um, they usually buy about five pound bottles of Chardonnay or Pinot Grigio. Um, you know, some of it okay and some of it a bit battery acidy. Um, hope they're not watching this. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I, uh, I was like, what is this? This is lovely. And you know, I would have bought like hundreds of them if it had been five pounds, but it's actually uh, seven pounds on offer. The, uh, the old dark horse which I've just researched into. It's not some little, you know, cutesy wootsy winery. It's actually a, a brand of Ian e J Gallo, the biggest winery in the world uh, from California. But this is obviously their more premium offering, you know, usually about £8.50. Um, so we had a look on uh, the old Google shopping today and uh, discovered we could pick it up in Sainsbury's at the moment for £7. So we hot footed it down there and I've now got a glass in my hand and um, so in terms of uh, Chardonnay it often has kind of a bad press which you know is is kind of hard to believe for the one of the principal grapes in Champagne um, and also um, white burgundy so you know very prestigious grape one of the oldest grapes and uh, people have been quite snobby about these um, very uh, fruity New World Chardonnays that have been around for like, you know, the past 40 years or whatever. Um, they think that they're over-oaked and, uh, you know, basically t taste, you know, um, like chewing on wood, basically, or, uh, or something. I, I gather this is the sort of criticism of New World Chardonnays, because I am unequivocally a fan. Um, you know, I, I, well, I did work for Majestic Wine and, um, you know, we all knew our stuff. We all did the Wine and Spirit Education Trust Level 3 exam. And um, I didn't meet a member of staff who didn't love Chardonnay. Um, because obviously when you learn to recognise uh, Chardonnay in all its different forms, uh, you realise what a versatile and amazing grape it is. Uh, so it can be like really minerally in Chablis or um, it can be really buttery, really fruity in a New World Chardonnay and the only real difference is that you know in a cooler climate like France uh, well certain parts of, of France um, that uh, produce Chablis, you know Burgundy the grapes don't get very ripe and juicy and so the wine they produce is, is quite weak and acidic they take, say it's minerally which is, you know, basically like licking a wet stone, really. That's the sort of taste of it. And it's, it's I mean, it's great for wine and food matching Chablis, but it's not the sort of thing I just want to, you know, swig on the sofa, really, of a, of a Saturday night. <laughs> so I find that oaky New World Chardonnays, such as this one, are actually um, the best for, you know, quaffability, just to drink by itself, because... Uh, you know, going back to my parents' £5 Pinot Grigio, I mean, I've never come across one that's not battery acid. Please prove me wrong. Please recommend some in the comments below if you know of a decent Pinot Grigio that's about £5. Now, don't get me wrong, I know that in the guise Pinot Gris, 
um, it's it's often much nicer, although it's the same grape variety, because again, they allow the grapes to ripen more. Anyway, let's not talk about Pinot Grigio right now, we're on Chardonnay, um, my favourite grape variety, in, in white anyway. Um, it would be hard to say which my favourite one is overall. Uh, but let's taste this wine professionally. Um, so first uh, stage is just actually looking at it and um, got a bit of condensation on the glass. And so you can see it's it's clear, that's always a good sign. And it's actually surprisingly pale really for um, for a, uh, a New World Chardonnay. Sometimes they can be a bit more yellow than that. That would suggest it's, uh, it's not terribly old. But it is from 2018, uh, so I might have expected to to pick up a bit more colour than that. But um, it's probably because, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but they probably haven't actually been maturing it in oak barrels because uh, that is quite expensive and, you know, they need cleaning and stuff. And I feel like the biggest winery in the world, Ian J Gallo, would probably be uh, fermenting their wine in, uh, and storing it in enormous stainless steel tanks, actually and the oakiness of the wine probably comes from some wood chippings. I could be wrong, but I feel like if a wine has been near a barrel, it always gets put on the label, you know, I would imagine, because uh, it's obviously an expensive thing to do, store it in oak barrels. Uh, so yeah, I feel like some wood chippings have been thrown at this one, um, but I, I do think it has ended up um, a really well-rounded, really nice wine so yeah it's clear it's pale yellow um it's from 2018 so it has gained a bit of maturity uh never buy a wine that's more than two years old uh in white that's you know not expensive unless it's a riesling uh or a dessert wine so this wine uh clear pale yellow and um obviously there's quite a lot of alcohol in there because you can see i'm not sure if you can see but the the wine's really sticking to the glass uh, as I swirl it round it's sticking up there and those are the legs uh, that would indicate you know the way that they take a while to trickle down again would indicate it's quite high in alcohol hey and it is it's 14 percent which is very normal for a new world chardonnay um, and then we smell it and this heightens the anticipation for trying that delicious wine um, we um, can smell all the amazing smells. I can almost smell like a sort of hint of sort of a sherry-ish sort of um, like a sweet sherry almost um, because it, clearly the grapes got so juicy and um, in the sun and they've made such a, a yeah, such a sweet grape juice that makes such an alcoholic wine it's almost turning a bit yeah, a bit sherry-ish, um, a bit fortified, but no, it's it's not. Um, and a creamy smell, you know, cream. I mean, they call them buttery, but I definitely think in this case there's more of a of a cream and cooked apple smell. Um, and a sort of generic tropical fruit sort of. Is it pineapple? Um, I don't know. You know, all those that, it feels like, you know, a massive tropical fruit bowl of exotic fruits, you know, a um, a New World Chardonnay uh, that you can just, you're just about to, you know, dive into and, and yeah, I think the, the sort of sherry thing I'm getting, the sort of sweet sherry, that, that might be, you know, a bit of oak as well. I can definitely, you know, smell a bit of like sweet American oak about it. And I feel it probably came in the form of oak chippings, as I said, because uh, they're a way to impart clean, you know, mm. new oak, cheap cost, in a controlled manner to the wine. Vanilla. Yeah, definitely vanilla, yeah. But thanks, James. Uh, he's, uh, he's getting really good, this one, at wine tasting. Um, yeah, definitely vanilla. Vanilla goes with the oak, you know, smell. Um, you know, because American oak, that's the typical smell is vanilla. Nice, smooth. Mm, smooth. Like? So he's finally got to taste it. I'll, I'll, let's have a try. Oh, it's like drinking water, but then the taste comes to the back of your throat and the cheeks. Wow. Yeah. I mean, we do drink five pound Chardonnay. We, we enjoy the Lindemans. Mm. But this is just on a different level. 
you know it just has more more smoothness and complexity like when you drink the five pound lindemans um it's just a very a very generic um sort of tropical fruit taste and sometimes there can be a bit of a bit of a tang a bit of a not 100 percent pleasant tang on the finish uh, salty foods are very kind to wine um and uh, sort of bitter foods aren't and i'll go into that in in future but yeah i i think the mark of a good chardonnay is it does taste really clean on the palate um really fresh but also you know that with warm you know tropical fruits that you know really fill out the taste so yeah you should be able to when you taste a wine you know taste at least some of what you're smelling um i've always thought how much of that is suggestion in your head you know but definitely with a a, a chardonnay you do get the tropical fruits on the palate or the peach uh, and and the vanilla perhaps it's a really good idea to you know just swirl it all around your mouth so you can really um taste all the different flavors um so we analyze the, the rest of it you know what is it this wine it's not very acidic i mean all wine is acidic but um the more uh, the more ripe uh, full-bodied uh, white wines the new world white wines like this they do tend to be a bit less acidic but I don't think it's true to um, exactly say they're sweet they're not actually sweet no. um, they are dry like all white wines really that you, you get are, are pretty much dry because the f fermentation process turns virtually all of the sugars into alcohol so but they do have an impression of being a little bit sweet um chardonnays because of all the big bold fruity tropical fruit flavors um yeah it has a really weird taste like you put it you drink it and you put it in your mouth and there's no taste but then once you i don't think that's right no no to me it does no really taste but then when you swallow it and you wrap it around your mouth mm. the taste sticks to the inside yeah. of your cheeks and well i can i can throat. definitely taste the oakiness well, and the, the tropical fruit in the, the mouth fruits, yeah the taste don't come until you swallow it to me oh well i think it does uh it's probably medium uh acidity um and it doesn't have any tannin as it's a white it's high in alcohol that it's uh you know high in it's full in body um flavor intensity is is medium plus um and the finish which is a mark of a good wine the flavors that last in your mouth does last for quite a while so yeah i'd say ian j gallo have done a really good job on this one and um cheers so what did you think about that I thought it was very good. She um, she knows her stuff. Um, she's obviously done her research. She did uh, did all these um, tests and qualifications, and she knows her stuff. And this I, I can definitely verify. This uh, wine is very very nice. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. Comment what you think of this. Comment all the wines that you'd like us to taste. Um, so thanks again for your continued support. Let's bump those subscribers up. And um, yeah, thanks again. Bye bye.